Today we've got Road to Ruin, and I've got it uh, set up here. It's by Hero Forge Games. Being printed out of the Game Crafter. Again, that great stock. I currently have it set up for a four-player game, but I'm actually going to take it down to its one-player component version here for the demo. So, one-player survival mode. Pretty straightforward. Just doing supply runs. I need to go from the safe house here out into the village, this ruined area, and try to survive zombies and collect items and get back uh, to win. In setup, I've set up these locations here. Some of these items or locations are going to have items with them, the six supply items I need to win. Other locations are going to have threats, whether they be have falling hazards, zombies, whatever uh, the ruined world has to show me. As I go through, my all by myself, traveling um, up, down, left, right, so on through the area, I may suffer wounds. I have to check out events as I go, collect items, and find weapons. So I'll need that, and then with this character's bonus card, I can move diagonally. Where typically you can only move orthogonally. Again, that's up, down, left, right. Uh, some characters have different abilities. For example, this one can move diagonally. This one's attack roll is uh, increased by one. You've got some sharpshooter. Gain an extra reroll when you set aside ammo card. Use a ranged weapon. And a here with his uh, katana. He gains an extra reroll if you have a melee weapon. And then Steve-O. He's the last one I haven't shown you yet. He gets four health. So you typically start with three health. You take wounds. You die, you die. Uh, if you have other people playing with you, they can come heal your wounds. But in a solo scenario, it's down to just you, your wits, and uh, trying to get it all done. Adding to the replay value of Road to Ruin, there's also these different scenarios in the back. So I've currently got a sub with Supply Run. But for other scenarios, we have examples like the long road. It gives you different, you gotta get five uh, supply cards for easy difficulty. You can set it up with a radio call here where it's all moved out, or the pinch point. There's different uh, exciting ways to play the game and try to get it done. So it's a quick 30 minute game. You'll see by moving from location to location, you'll pop a location card, it's a toxic lake. It's gonna give me problems on its own. Uh, survivors who move in this location uh, from to uh, from here to a face down location take one wound. And there's a zombie threat there of seven, it looks like. So I use my weapons and a roll, die roll and try to beat that seven. Say I beat it and I'm all good. But now that I moved here, my next move is clearly going to move back. Because moving to another face down location is going to cause me uh, damage. So it's those kinds of threats lurking out here in the road to ruin that you want to go through. Find yourself. I'm going to cheat here and look real quick. Oh man, I was surrounded there. A supply item. I want to get that supply item, bring it out to the base, get five more of those, and win. So that's a quick, brief uh, summary of Road to Ruin. You get various weapons that help you out. Crossbows, fine axes, a little shotgun action. Got to like that shotgun there. Get some cartridges, blow stuff up, get some ammo. There's also other items to help, like some uh, body armor. Helps you uh, reduce the threat in the area. If you take wound, I can throw this away instead of taking the wounds. So that could be a total life-saving moment there. Much like it is in the zombie movies and the zombie TV shows. Any uh, Anything to block the damage is always good. So that's, again, a uh, quick overview of Road to Ruin. Check it out on Game Crafter, and links will be in the blog. Thank you for checking out United Geeks Network family member. If you enjoyed it and are looking for other online media with a geek culture slant, head over to unitedgeeksnetwork.com where you will find Who, What, Why, a game design podcast. A podcast that talks about the ins and outs of game design with game designers. The United Geeks Network. You can broadcast your geekiness at unitedgeeksnetwork.com.